Welcome to Just One More Story Farm. <laughs> Today we are going to be showing you how to <laughs> cut your dog's nails. This is going to be a three part series. We're going to cut our dog's nails, we're going to clean their ears, and give them a bath. So at this farm, our hope is just to be able to help you with your small farm, your dogs, your pets. Anything that we can help with, we'd like to help you with that. So let's get started. Do you want a farm? A wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you. Yeah. Welcome to our show. Whoa. Just one more story farm. We are going to cut Anna's nails. This is Anna. She is a one-year-old St. Bernard. She has large white nails. And so we're going to trim those up today. Okay. When cutting a dog's nails, it's important that you identify where the quick is. So if you look closely, you will see, it's hard to see with all her feathering, but she has part of her nail which is pink, and that is where the quick is, or the vein that's inside of the nail. And then you'll see the white part, the white tip. The white tip is where you want to cut. You don't want to cut too close to that pink though, because you can cut the tip of that vein and that would hurt and she could bleed a bit. So we're just going to cut this little tip here. Off. So we'll use our clippers to do that. Take your clippers. You just want to cut just the tip. Now it doesn't hurt them. And if you look, you won't see any pink vein there. Did that hurt? Not at all, right? Not at all. Let's continue on. So we are going to do all of her nails. Now you can look and see that her nails have now been trimmed. They're going to be sharp after freshly trimming, so just be careful. You can file them down if you choose to. If they have any dew claws, you want to trim those. Those are the ones that are up here. She has one small one that grows kind of funny. It kind of curls in on itself, so I do trim that down as needed. As you can see right now, it's very small, so we're going to leave that alone today. Now we're going to move on to the back. But first, a little belly rub, because she loves belly rubs. We're gonna cut these back toenails. So again, if you look, part the feathering, you're gonna see she's got pink back here, white in the front, cutting the white where it hooks. So if you take your trimmer to where that hook is, just the white, it clip, and then you check it. When you are all done cutting all of those toenails, you wanna go back through Check every single one, make sure there's none that are bleeding. If you were to find one bleeding, it's not the end of the world. All you need to do is put some quick stop powder on there if you have it. If you don't have it in a pinch, you can use something like cornstarch, something that you could put to just help stop the bleeding, if it were to be bleeding. If it's just a little pink at the tip, no blood, don't even worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead now and check every one of her nails. We have our second dog here. This is Sven. Sven is a four-year-old doggy day Bordeaux. And we've had him since a puppy as well. So we are going to be cutting his nails. We will look for the quick again, but as I'll show you, it is a lot harder to find it. What do you see? He is definitely our guard dog of the farm. Huh. Okay. So if you look at his nails, you'll see that, yes, there is some pink, but it blends in with the brown nail, so it is hard to see. So what we're gonna be doing, we're just gonna be cutting off that hook. Some are a little easier to see. Right here, it has a hook. We're gonna take off that tip. All right. What do you think, Sven? Should we get going? Huh? Thank you. Where you see the hook. So we're just taking off that hook right there. Good boy. So the back nails are a bit harder to see. There's a lot more red in them. We're only gonna take off the tips here. This one we can see a little bit more white, but still it's, it is harder to see. So we just take off the tips and we check them closely to make sure that we're not seeing any blood vessels close by. Good boy, you are. Oh, mama, good boy. I love you. Did 
did you? Did you put your drool in my hair? Yes, you did. <laughs> he got me. Ah, he got me with the drool in the hair. Tune in next, after I clean the drool out of my ear, we're going to go and give these dogs a bath. They're each getting their bath. We'll show you how we do that here at Just One More Story Farm. And then in video after that, we're going to clean their ears. If you liked this video, if you learned anything, if you were helpful in any way, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of these videos, see more of this cute face on Sven, or more of Anna and her furriness, you can see more of us at Just One More Story Farm. You can hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos pop up on your YouTube feed. We really appreciate the support. We did a great job, right buddy? Thank you. Thank you so much for helping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye for now. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now you're learning to farm like me. There is so much more to see. If you're planning on heading elsewhere, burger you we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is the place to be. Whoa. What are you waiting for? Get your farm on. Whoa.